hello guys welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to uh, take a session on what is python so before that i just want to let you know if you are a beginner and still if you don't have any knowledge in coding language do not worry or do not panic python is a pretty simple language and you can quickly grab the language and implement it on your own so i will have most of the videos of what is python how to set up the environment uh, what are the python variables interpreters identifiers functions classes in my upcoming videos you can go through one by one video and you can easily learn it so now why do you need to learn python there are many other languages say c c plus plus java many many languages why python because python has become the fastest growing language and currently most of the companies are adhering themselves to python language with this the demand of python is increasing and i would also recommend you to at least have some knowledge on python and this will definitely help you in your career also the scope of python is is very high in the current market because python is not only used in one domain python is used in multiple domains it is used in it is used across all the domains say from uh, web and internet development from scientific to numeric from education text of gui's software development business applications there are lots of areas are there machine learnings ais so if you see the market of python is very vast in the current in the current generation so this is the reason why you need to learn python and definitely this will help you in your future so now most i will be covering uh, the topics today this uh, below the topics that i will be covering today that's python uh, that's uh, what is the uses of python how we can download the python interpreter and how we can do the setup the environment say like how to set the path variable and then at the end we will be seeing a basic python programming example so now let us see what is python we are saying python 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 so what is python now it is an interpreted object oriented and high level programming language so even we can call it as general purpose programming language also why because it is used in almost all the sectors almost all the domains so it is a general purpose programming language and the python's structure syntax structure is very very simple and it is very easy to understand so i would definitely suggest you to learn python it's a very user friendly one and uh, python is not only a programming language it is also a scripting language because the main difference between programming and scripting are like programming language as are having a compiler with it whereas scripting language don't have but python comes in handy with both if you say like python is many uh, uh, third party modules which contains compilers and we can compile the applications with it whereas you can directly execute the program with the python script using the python interpreter so most of the uh, in the companies uh, for 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 performing the testing operations so they are using the python using the interpreter so they don't go with the compiling and all they write the scripts as per their need as per their uh, test cases and they run it with the help of interpreter so we can call python as both programming as well as scripting language move to the next use of the python so python comes with a basic simple installer file so it's hardly a 25 mb file it's an interpreter file and uh, but it has a wide use as we have a python py package so this contains thousands of modules thousands of third party modules which we can use uh, for our uh, for our script for our for writing the scripts say like for web and internet development we have django we have uh, pyramid and then for scientific and numeric we have pandas we have ipython for educational purposes we have open py excel we have uh, numpy for desktop guis we have easy gui easy gui tkinter uh, we have a uh, uh, we have kiwi for software developments and all we have a billboard track these are the common ones and then for business applications we have 
uh, OpenStack or we can have SQLite too. So these are the various uh, modules uh, we can use for this uh, uses. So Python is not only for one purpose, so we can use Python in various domains, in various uh, areas. So from web to business applications. So you can think how strong the Python is. Now we'll see how we can download the Python interpreter and how we can uh, use it. Let us see. Uh, we'll go to the official site of python.org. Uh, So here if you go to this download tab you can see the python 3.8.2 this, this is the latest one so always uh, if you come here you can find the latest python scripts or we can see the latest python interpreter but if you want to see for other versions you can click on the download tab go below and you can see the versions the various versions here uh, let me choose uh, any version say like python 3.7.4 and now we can have a uh, we can choose the other uh, like files like say what, what architecture you want 32 bit or 64 bit or what kind of executables you want whether you want a executable installer or web based or embedded one so, uh, uh, yep so i will choose uh, executable installer 64 bit let us see okay it's done so let me open the file let me run it now by default uh, if you don't do anything by default it will choose this uh, install now it will ch uh, choose this path but I would suggest not to go with this path uh, instead because uh, for any uh, uh, for any coding checking purpose uh, it's very difficult to go to this path so instead I will suggest to go for customized installation before that for adding we need to add this python 3.7 to path in the older version we don't have this option but in the newer version we have this so we can we need to use this option then go for customer installation that's all checked go for next go for install for all users so it will automatically take this path for installation uh, then go for install this will take some time Here you can see it's uh, it's done. So we'll close it and uh, we'll run uh, CMD and we'll see what version of Python is installed. So if you see, we have installed we have version of 3.7.4. So now it's fine. So let's see it. So next we will see a basic example. So I would suggest uh, to have a Notepad++ application installed. So that's a very good application, very user-friendly install application. So let us uh, write a code and execute it. So let me write a code. Say num1 or else basically print folks welcome welcome to my channel so this is very simple one so let me put it in desktop only test and let me save a file with dot uh, py so this notepad plus plus supports many many uh, scoring language or scripting uh, file so here i can choose a python file for py so i'll save it you but the only thing is like you can run it from here uh, just go to cmd <coughs> Test .py. and we can see our code is being executed now let us write uh, now let us write one more code simple uh, addition code uh, so, just, uh, 
so I'm just quoting it so you can code always you can code a single line with uh, a single line with uh, hash or if you add if you want to code multiple lines what you can do is like uh, instead of this just put uh, comma. so this is also coding let's try print let us get the print value uh, into we have this in the code sum of uh, two numbers is so so i'm done this now let us run this code again see sum of two numbers 30 hope you like it and uh, yeah one more thing I was telling like regarding the environment path variable so it is already added so we'll see that So this is this is the path where it is already added. So you can see the Python has been added to this file. Okay. So hope 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 you like the video. And uh, I, I have upcoming videos with uh, some basic Fibonacci series and odd and even numbers. And then I will start uh, with the variables and with operators, functions, classes. So my next videos will be on that. So please like my video. If you like it, please like my video and subscribe it for more videos. Thank you.